<laughs> Cameron used you for views. I know. <clears throat> I know they are, chat. You know? I'm okay with it, though. And as long as you're okay with it, it's fine. And, and obviously, it's obvious. Cameron's not like, I really want to be friends with the MMA guru. We can, we can be friends, but I know there's a part of it where, which is just like, this is be really good for my career. If I had the MMA guru on the podcast, if I coached the MMA guru for his fight, I used hit them for views as well. You know, like it goes both ways. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, um, Sean's here. The same goes for me. Exactly. Yeah. They do seem to genuinely like you. Yeah, it was fun. We were laughing the whole time. It was funny. We had fun. It was cool. Um, but that's just the reality of the world. You know what I mean? We weren't just going to randomly be best friends. Like, it's obviously there's some, like, gain to it. It's not using, just benefiting from each other. Exactly, yeah. But, yeah. To deny that is, like, crazy, though. Obviously, Cameron thought about it, like, if I have him on the pod. And look at the podcast views. It worked for him, you know? He seemed to like you. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know. They're, obviously, they're genuine, but there is obviously a part of it which is just like, you know, obviously, this is beneficial business-wise, you know? But it's not just that, obviously. I'm sure he's a nice guy. Any other fight you'd link up with for an interview and training? Mohamed Makayev? Maybe I should reply to Makayev and say... Let's train grappling. Shall I like reach out to Mikhaev to train? Imagine if we wrestled and I threw him around like a fucking bitch. <laughs> Is that the next move? Wrestling with Mikhaev? Let's wrestle, yeah, maybe. Should I say that? Next time you're in the UK, we'd love to do some wrestling. <laughs> ask him nicely. Yeah, I'm going to ask nicely, maybe. Kill him with kindness, Nia. Don't be cringe. You're going to get wrecked by a guy 100 pounds less than you, yeah. Be concise, less wrestle. No, because that's lame. Quote tweet. I am going to quote tweet, I think. Next time you're in the UK, would love to do some wrestling training. Call him Lil, though. Yeah. Let's meet up and train little bro. He will strangle you. Don't give him clout. But he's already got loads of views. You're about to mog the horse. <laughs> That's basically what I want from it anyway. Just get a picture with him. With him talking shit. All of a sudden we're all good and proper. In the, like how he's gonna beat your ass now. No, imagine you just show up to mog him, then run away. That is the move. He's gonna choke you. Okay. He will swing at you about like an empty tracksuit. Okay. What should I? So I've said next time you're in the UK, would love to do some MMA training. I don't really care about you calling me names on Twitter like a child. Let's meet up and train, little man. Hashtag free Palestine. Would that get a reaction out of him? <laughs> what are we thinking? I tune in every day. Mod me. Okay. Yes. You'll start World War Three. Okay. Too fucking wordy, but sure do it. Okay. <clears throat> I don't ever have to. Make it more sarcastic. <laughs> He's just going to, well, if he takes a flight back, like, yes, now let's do it. I'm like, yeah, nice flight, bitch. Dude, you fucking, dude, you fucking told, boy. All seriousness, why isn't Cheddar ahead of Mars? 
I don't know. I just don't like the idea of someone paying to be mod. But Traderhead is like seen as a moderator status. You know what I mean? Some people are just seen as like a known person in chat. Like Weonte Dialed has never been a mod, but people just know him as we, you know what I mean? Some people just have status anyway, just off their name. Sean C is known, you know, from being gifted members. Masvidal said he's unretired. Thoughts? I don't know who's going to. When trash talking gets mugged, yeah. Send a picture of Hadley. Okay. You should try and get on Tim Welch's podcast. He's always spoke highly of you. Yeah, but I don't want to be the one to reach out because you know how much ammunition that is. Right, chat? Imagine if Tim Welch has me on red. Come on, dude. Has me on red asking to go on his podcast. You know O'Malley's just going to save that for a rainy day. Interview Dan Hooker? No. Nah. Is it an accurate assessment to say most of your mods have stopped watching the channel? No, I'm just so sporadic with my live streams these days that mods just don't know when to fucking tune in, I feel like. But most of them are still here. <sighs> Tim is also in an open relationship. 